We won't be doing that today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow works. Think about finally having everything you always wanted. I can save today. But you can save the world. That's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This is going to be my new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer video. We also have a special Justice League 2021 announcement that's really cool and some more Wonder Woman 1984 footage that they're going to be dropping really soon that I'll explain. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We'll do a new Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave all your predictions for Wonder Woman 1984 on the video. So just going down the list, starting with number five, Warner Brothers just made a couple big announcements about its movies for the next year. It shifted everything again by a couple weeks, some movies more than that. Wonder Woman 1984 is now going to come out October 2nd this year instead of August. That's because Mr. Batman, Dark Knight himself, Christopher Nolan's movie, Tenant, got delayed by a couple weeks. So all the other movies that Warner Brothers releasing after that just got moved down the bench by a couple more weeks themselves. Now we can joke that Wonder Woman 1984 is the new mutants of DC movies. It's had at least three different release dates so far. And even when they made the announcement yesterday too, they tweeted out this picture that had all these Thanksgiving messages on them, like they had planned on releasing Wonder Woman 1984 Thanksgiving this year, but then changed their minds to October. As chaotic as that sounds, don't worry, we're still going to get to see the movie. It's just being bumped by a couple weeks into October, so it's not that bad. It could have been way, way worse. The special new Wonder Woman 1984 footage that they're going to be releasing is actually going to be coming in July, around July 17th, when they re-release Inception in theaters, another big Christopher Nolan movie. They're trying to get people to go back to movie theaters, so they're re-releasing a ton of really, really big movies. It'll be brand new Wonder Woman 1984 footage from the movie, so whatever it is, I will totally do a video for it, breaking down all the Easter eggs. They didn't say whether or not they're going to post that online, so you probably wind up having to go to the theater to see it. DC is also doing a big special virtual Comic-Con event later this summer, separate from the actual Comic-Con, where they'll do panels from the upcoming Suicide Squad movie with James Gunn and a bunch of Wonder Woman 1984 stuff, a bunch of the Batman stuff probably, so that'll all be separate, maybe some other trailers from that too. But number four, the really cool announcement about Justice League next year that'll get you even more hyped up if you're already excited about the Snyder Cut, is that because of the way all these movie releases are changing, Justice League is probably going to wind up being Warner Brothers' biggest spring early summer movie blockbuster and it's not even being released in theaters. I've already done a couple videos about how that version of Justice League is going to be radically different than the theatrical cut, so I'll link them at the end of this. It'll be a totally different movie. And speaking of Wonder Woman Gal Gadot, she and the other Justice League actors will be coming back to record new dialogue for Zack Snyder's alternate footage. The new version of the movie is going to be over four hours long and they're saying around 75% of that is probably going to be totally different story and footage than the theatrical cut. So there is a lot of extra dialogue that needs to be recorded for say like the dark side scenes who they're putting back in the movie. Thankfully dark side is coming back and the other scenes just to stitch everything together in a way that makes sense. But right now the report is that they're going to be breaking the movie up into six different parts and airing it on HBO Max like a miniseries next summer. So it's basically going to be Warner Brothers biggest summer blockbuster event. No official release date yet but it'll probably be sometime between late April to early June and it would just run for six weeks, six different episodes. If you don't have HBO Max right now, I'm sure they're going to run some promo and they'll be dropping trailers for that before the end of the year and early next year too just to get people even more hyped up. Like please subscribe to HBO Max to get this amazing thing we're releasing. But number three, none of that stuff is going to connect to what's happening in Wonder Woman 1984. The big hope for the Justice League Snyder Cut is that if it's as successful as it seems like it's going to be, Warner Brothers will just be open to continuing that part of the DC Universe with other types of stories and projects like that on HBO Max in the future. If they announce that they're doing the same thing for Suicide Squad and changing that with an alternate cut of the film, I'll do a video for that too, but thus far they've only said that they're doing it for Justice League right now. 
Wonder Woman 1984 and Wonder Woman 3 are only loosely connected to the previous Justice League DCEU movies in the sense that it's still Gal Gadot playing the character and in present day she'll still know Aquaman, Batman, The Flash, Cyborg, Superman, and apparently Shazam now, now that Shazam met the Justice League before the ending of that movie. But the strategy that they're using for their new DC movies going forward is that they're letting the directors do more self-contained movies if they want. So some of the DC movies going forward will still be connected to Justice League and some will not. Two great examples of that on opposite ends of the spectrum are Shazam 2 and the Batman movie with Robert Pattinson. So if you didn't see the news a while ago, Henry Cavill is signing a contract to come back as Superman, Man of Steel in the DC Universe but crossing over into other upcoming DC movies, he's not signing a contract for Man of Steel 2. One of the movies he would cross over into would be Shazam 2. I'll do a new Superman movie video sometime soon too, because there was also a report about what's going on with that next Superman movie and when Warner Brothers is planning on actually doing that. On the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of continuity, the Batman movie with Robert Pattinson is not going to be connected to Justice League. It's going to be its own self-contained thing, it takes place in the past, and Robert Pattinson isn't supposed to be a prequel version of Ben Affleck's Batman. He's just supposed to be a younger version of a Batman. Number two, the new Wonder Woman 1984 stuff is mostly about Wonder Woman and Cheetah's character arc, the way that they're setting up Cheetah for possible future returns in other DC movies or even Wonder Woman 3. So this is basically what Cheetah looks like in the movie. There have been a couple promos that have been released of what she actually looks like at various points during the film, but the whole idea is that she slowly becomes Cheetah over the course of the film. So she evolves into the comic book Cheetah form, and it actually does look pretty good on screen. Maxwell Lord is the closest thing to a main villain the movie has, but even he isn't really a villain in the way that Ares, God of War, was the main villain of the first Wonder Woman movie. If you're going into the movie kind of expecting the end to be similar to the first Wonder Woman movie, you will be extremely surprised. The movie could not be more different. Rewatch the trailer a couple times. Notice what's missing from all the scenes. Wonder Woman does not have her sword with her in present day, and even when she puts on the special war armor with the gold wings from the comics, she doesn't have the sword and she doesn't have her shield at any point during the trailer, just the lasso of truth. Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot said that she's not using those, the shield or the sword in the movie, because she isn't going to be running around chopping body parts off of anyone, no gods, no regular people, no metahumans, not even Cheetah or Maxwell Lord. And it's all part of the idea that the movie isn't supposed to be about Wonder Woman defeating villains or fighting villains. It's all about how Wonder Woman saves everyone, or at least tries to save everyone. Number one, the whole thing with the Cheetah story arc is that she starts out as this awkward historian and archaeologist working with Wonder Woman at the museum. They become friends, and because Barbara Minerva thinks of herself as trash, she wants nothing more than to have what she perceives to be Wonder Woman's power and grace. She wants to be Wonder Woman. Because of what Maxwell Lord does with the special black stone, that becomes literally possible for her. So Cheetah effectively gains her Cheetah abilities and becomes powerful like Wonder Woman over the course of the movie. But in the movie, because this is all about the excess and greed of the 80s, it's about the metaphors of greed turning people into monsters. But because it's a comic book movie and you have a special magical black rock, it also literally turns people into monsters. So that explains how Cheetah begins to look like comic book Cheetah over the course of the film. And in terms of her coming back in future DC movies, that would either be Wonder Woman 3 or another DC movie, but they haven't said specifically which one. It's just the idea that she could always come back if Kristen Wiig wants to come back. Like I said though, the big special new footage that they're releasing for Wonder Woman 1984, that'll be sometime around July 17th when they re-release Inception in theaters. They'll be dropping a bunch of footage for upcoming Warner Brothers movies. Wonder Woman 1984 is just one of those. Let me know in the comments though, if they bring Cheetah back in a future DC movie, where do you want her to show up again? There's a bunch of stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks, so I'll try to do as many videos for everything as possible. As long as you have alerts enabled for my channel, you should see all those videos when I post them. But leave all your requests in the comments below. Everyone click here for that Justice League Snyder Cut teaser trailer, and click here for that brand new Spider-Man Miles Morales trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.